Multi-factor authentication, or MFA, is a critical component to keeping our Salesforce orgs secure against bad actors. As of April of 2024, MFA is now the default login experience for all production orgs. That's an extremely positive development, but what can we do with those accounts that don't log in through the Salesforce UI? These could be integration or API accounts, could be used for robotic process automation or RPA, perhaps even ones we're using for testing automation tools like Selenium or Cucumber. There are several valid use cases where MFA needs to be disabled. Let's look at how we can keep our Salesforce org secure, but still accommodate the needs of these special accounts. Setting up MFA waivers against select accounts is as simple as setting up a new permission set. Let's walk through it. So first let's go to setup and go to the permission set screen. Now we're gonna be adding a new permission set here. So we wanna name this something that we can define what our action here is. So we wanna do an MFA waiver by select users. Now in normal circumstances, we would wanna um, best practices wise, fill out our description for those who come after us. But for right now, we are going to save out this new permission set. So we actually want to tag the system permissions. So we want to click that link near the bottom of the page. So once we're on the system permission screen, we want to make an edit. And the field that we're looking for is very near the bottom, near the user section called Wave Multi-Authentication for Exempt Users. I want to check that and hit Save and save once more. Okay, so now our permission set is active, but it's not really serving a purpose. So we need to assign users to it. So click the Manage Assignments button and also the Add Assignment button. So this gives us a list of all of our users that we could potentially assign to this permission set. So for this, for the purpose of this demonstration, let's go ahead and click this integration user and say next. So something to note here that we could add an expiration date if we wanted to um, right here, but for right now, we're just gonna keep this as no expiration. So let's hit assign and go ahead and hit done. All right, it's that simple. Our permission set is now active and protecting MFA from that integration user. So one last note, we do not want to assign this permission to any users that actually log in to our Salesforce org through the user interface. Essentially, we're creating security holes when we do this. Thank you for taking a moment to walk through waiving Salesforce MFA access for select accounts. If this content was helpful to you, please take a second to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Lastly, if you're experiencing any challenges within Salesforce where you could use a trusted partner, please reach out to us at improving.com. Our team of Salesforce experts would love to discuss how we can help. I wish you luck fine-tuning your MFA experience. Until next time.